Alan and Kathy, good afternoon. Yes, these latest two carjackings taking place within a half hour of each other between 3.30 and 4 o'clock this afternoon. The first one happening in Streeterville when a Lyft driver was picking up a fare. The second one, you're looking at the surveillance video here, happening at a Goose Island gas station at Holstead and Division. The owner of the vehicle pumping gas when the offender jumped into his car and drove off that owner trying unsuccessfully to chase the thief down. These coming after a string of these incidents in the early morning hours of today. At least three armed carjackings and several robberies in a four hour period overnight, all linked to the same people who appear to go back and forth between Cicero and the city's west and northwest sides, alternately relieving people of their vehicles, then using those stolen cars to commit other crimes. I was coming down uh, Augusta at the stop sign at Walcott. This car right here, they used to block me off. All three of them jumped out with guns, two on the driver's side, one on the passenger told me to get out the car. Thomas's white Dodge Charger taken from him near the Sitko gas station in Ukrainian Village, where police also recovered a Mazda SUV carjacked in an earlier incident. The Charger then used in four armed robberies in Cicero. The robberies were uh, probably within about a 30 minute, 20 to 30 minute period. They were just driving down the street. They'd see somebody, they'd stop, someone would jump out with a gun, rob them, and then get back in the car. Police call carjackings a crime of opportunity. The offenders, mostly juveniles, who even when caught, are quickly back out on the streets. A task force set up by CPD earlier this year to deal with the growing problem. Those kids go to certain high schools, and that's what we're looking at, following those kids from the high school. They go to school in the morning, and they leave out, and then next thing you know, they're committing carjackings. Now, investigators tell us they do not believe that they're dealing with the ring of carjackers here, but they do think they say that, well, they're not surprised if several of these offenders do know each other in some way. Live in Ukrainian Village, I'm Michelle Gallardo, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Back to you.